All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Once again, we are Aquazus New Review. And next, we're going to be talking about a rather momentous occasion that's happened at our Salmon River Central School Board. Uh, most recently, August 9th, it took to the board for a vote of changing, or at least asking for the change, of Columbus Day to be made into the um, Indigenous Peoples Day. And guess what? It was approved. It was approved. Yes. So kudos to the Salmon River Central School Board. Now, what do we think about this type of information? I think it's about time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, we're a little behind in the times because it's been a national movement at other schools, mm -hmm. colleges, universities, and even some high schools across the nation have made the movement to change Columbus Day to Indigenous Peoples Day. And to have a school that is predominantly Native American still having Columbus Day on their calendar is a little bit detrimental to our community and to those students. So I have to say it's awesome. You know, thank you to whoever made that motion to have it changed, and I believe it was the Mohawk Club at Salmon. It was actual students. Yeah, from what I've heard, it was the students that actually proposed it. Um, they brought it to the school board, and it was put to a vote. Um, and it's actually pretty momentous, again, because we, being alumni, well, most of us being alumni from Salmon River Central, <laughs> we know the importance of, like, cultural identity, but also just recognition um, for, you know, us being mm -hmm. a majority of the school district. I don't know the exact percentage. I think we're close to 65%. I think so. Yeah. yeah. And the Sandwiches Mohawk Tribe actually just changed theirs in 2015 as well. So when you have the upcoming year's holidays, HR guy, uh, <laughs> yeah. they changed the name of it there too. And yeah, like you said, it's happened just recently. I think last year, some of the students from Akwazasne went to Plattsburgh on behalf of them changing theirs, you know, and they brought people in mm -hmm. and stuff like that to get there. So even Plattsburgh kind of... But you know what, you know, and it's not without controversy because whenever there's a change, I mean, there's good, there's positive. People fear but change. People fear change, I exactly. Fear change. And, and I wanted to show these guys earlier, but on Facebook, it was just an announcement for the school board uh, recognizing this change. And there was some feedback, a lot of them from al alumni from Sam River, maybe in their, you know, 80s, 90s, that thought this change was just unnecessary. Um, and But, you know, kudos to a lot of the current teachers and a lot of people that I know that actually stood up and said it's about time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's about recognition about a school that's primarily uh, Native American Mohawk people. But there was some people out there saying, just why? Why did you have to? Uh, what, are we what, what are we celebrating? Indigenous Peoples Day, what's the meaning behind it? Are they saying that, hey, good job, Natives? Or, you know, like Columbus discovered America, supposedly. So indigenous people, that who are we honoring? Everybody as a whole? Like, I'm not a for it, I'm not against it, because either way, I'm going to take the day off. Like, <laughs> my <laughs> HR guy, yeah. But my thinking is, like, Holiday whether it was forever. Columbus Day or the Census of People Day, most people are going to take that day off. You know, I may, I'm not going to go to work and be like, hey, I refuse and I'm protesting, but coming to work today, I still won't get paid, you know? Like, so my question is, what, where are we, what are we celebrating then? What is it? What's the significance for you guys? Like, I don't get it. I guess uh, it raises a really good question. I mean, if it is now going to be identified as D Indigenous Peoples Day, um, what is the school district going to do in terms of identifying, you know, is it going to be a cultural appreciation day where everyone can wear the ribbon dress and magazines? I mean, is there going to be um, kind of a demonstration of our culture Ooh, to maybe teach and raise awareness? Yeah, but I mean, what is the school district going to do from that point forward? Okay. So that is a good question. Maybe, because it's a maybe whatever the Mohawk Club presents. Maybe they do it. Maybe Mohawk the Club says, this will be the day like, you guys changed it. This will be the day we do this. We cook everybody fry bread and corn soup. <laughs> and if, yeah, like if you look, like if you look at Facebook mm -hmm. pictures of like some of the students or even the school itself, they do hold stuff like that yeah. around this time around like Columbus Day. And like I said, the movement has been there with the kids mm -hmm. and the students to change the name mm -hmm. because like you're, like Columbus Day to us, it's kind of like why are we celebrating this guy right. because he is the one who started it all. He took our land. He did all this stuff. We don't celebrate Hitler. Right. You know, why are but, we celebrating But you know what? I have to step back in a second because, again, three out of four of us are alumni. And I don't think th there was much tension when we were in school in terms of this. But I have to give a lot of credit to these students because, at least for me being a former student, I would have never in a million years thought about going to a school board meeting yeah. and saying, I would like this action to take place or a consideration for it. So, again, kudos to the students nowadays that are just that much more incorporated yeah. into, involved, involved yes. into what happens at their school. Definitely. So that's kind of cool. I that like that. It makes me very proud.